So let's talk about image processing. This is one of the most misunderstood elements of bringing a TV set, an LCD panel to life, because really it's the graphics card. You can have a great panel with great performance, but if you're sending it garbage, it's not going to look great. If you're sending it magnificent frames and the panel driver is really accurate and it's doing pre-processing on the image and it's tuned with the panel and the other technologies in the set, all of a sudden you're going to get amazing, amazing results. So you got to think of image processing as the graphics card, something that really can take a panel and move it to the next level. It's the key differentiator. You can take the same panel, put two different image processors on there, and you'll go, oh, that's a great panel, and that's not a great panel. It's a great image processor driving a great panel. One of the things I like to do, because it kind of cuts through all the different layers of you know, tests that you can't compare is I like to throw a grayscale image up on the TV because there you can see it in a lighting environment you're familiar with. You can see in this case all the different shades of gray uh, going from almost complete white to almost complete black and it really shows you what the TV can perform when it has to show everything all at once. And you can reverse it and then get the opposite as well but you can really compare between TVs because what you'll see is at some point you won't see uh, the detail, the uh, whites will disappear, or the blacks will all look the same. If you can't see a good division between all of them, the panel isn't performing as well as another one that is doing that. And it does this through image processing. In our Bravi Engine 2, this is on our entry level sets. It provides a lot of image quality enhancements. And really, if you look under the bridge here, this is what you can notice when you're in the store looking at content. Look for dark areas. Look if you can see any detail, in this case under the bridge, whether or not it's got a lot of detail there. In the same way on the roof tiles, you can see a little bit of blurring and, and noise. And the tiles with the Bravi engine are enhanced and sharpened. You always want to be looking in those darker areas to see what level of detail? Are the blacks just what is called crushed, where as soon as it starts to get dark, it just becomes a black blob? Or are you getting detail all the way down to your black level? When you move to the Bravi Engine 3, you're really taking image processing to the next level. You're looking at doing things like in this image, enhancing the contrast, making sure you have lots of detail in the dark areas, and really balancing out to make it a more vivid, lifelike picture. Looking at this shot in terms of color, the Bravi Engine 3 is looking at maximizing the colors, making sure the tones, especially in the ranges you're really familiar with, the blues, the reds, they're more vivid, they're more accurate, and they, they really uh, have a great look to them. This final example again gives you that notion of the color and the contrast and the noise just being brought up to speed by the Bravi Engine 3. It's important to note that the Bravi Engine 3 processes all signals, high definition and standard definition, whereas the Bravi Engine 2 processes only standard definition images. What's great about the Bravi Engine 3 is it really makes standard definition TV watchable. Usually once you switch over to high def, uh, you're trying to go watch some other channels and you just can't do it because there's not enough resolution there, the images don't always look that great. With the Bravi Engine 3, it's really taking that image and bringing it up a level so that it is quite watchable. If you have the, your favorite show that's on this one channel on the network that's in standard def, you'll still be able to watch it thanks to the Bravi Engine 3. A new feature this year in image processing is the ambient light sensor. Different lights have different color temperatures and this is why cameras have white balance or sometimes if you have your point and shoot you might have people's skin tones or something just doesn't look right. That's because it doesn't balance for the different kinds of light, whether it be a, a regular incandescent lamp, a fluorescent light, or sunlight. So this will actually change the color that the TV is displaying back to match what your eye is already matching in the room around you. So this gives you the ability for, with no intervention of the customer, to give you the best, most natural color no matter what the light is doing. If you're watching in the daytime when it's all natural sunlight, you don't have any lights on, or whether it's on at night, whether you have fluorescence or regular incandescent lights, it's going to do the job. What good is image processing if you don't use it? The orange theater button takes you to picture settings that are as close to the theater as you can possibly get. One touch gets you there. So with great image processing technologies, you can take your panel to the next level. 
And with the ambient sensor, Bravi Engine 2 and Bravi Engine 3, Sony Bravia is always giving you the best in picture quality.